Well, I figured I'd do a quick video on this because I have yet to see anybody show this or explain this. <clears throat> and so I have these LED Christmas lights, two different strands, both which both which have one section burnt out. All the bulbs have been replaced. All the testing has been done. And it keeps failing around this area. <clears throat> so I broke one of these open to see what was inside of it. And it's actually got a resistor here that connects to the two wires. And that provides uh, resistance for the current as it goes across. The problem was in here, it had corroded and broken off. So because it couldn't actually complete the circuit, um, the whole line was dead. So what I did was, uh, if you're not familiar with electronics, sorry, you have a headlight on here so I can see a little bit better. These bands uh, give different um, numbers. And so <clears throat> I actually grabbed some new ones off of Amazon. I'll be soldering the new ones on and then using shrink wrap tubing and some other supports to kind of secure that together. So hopefully somebody finds that helpful. All right, before I heat, before I heat sink it up, I thought I'd show really quick. Let's see if I can move the light out of the way. So I'll be, I just kind of have the wires wrapped right now. You can see all the, all the lights are working. And then I'll be putting uh, some little soldering points to kind of help seal that together. All right, so there's my solder points. So I have the two wires soldered together. Now I'm gonna shrink wrap them. I'm actually gonna double shrink wrap it. And then uh, as you can see, the lights are all still working. Okay, probably overkill, but I did wrap it with electrical tape, mainly because I wanted to add some extra stiffness to it and some extra, hopefully, waterproof protection. So, yep, all the strands and all the lights are working now. There you go, all lit up. Got one more strand to do.